Nice shot. Oh, I don't know. I got him in. Yeah. I saw this carp coming by. I threw it out in front of it. I saw him swim over to that. Oh, shit. Using a nine weight. Nine weights are good for having fishing for these bigger fish for their power and because some of these fish can grow up to 30 pounds and you need a good rod, a good stiff acting rod for it. This is a mirror carp. It's uh, not as popular as a common carp in the bay. There's very few of them. I've only caught maybe four or five in my life. This is probably number six. But this year I've been seeing quite a few mirrors. He might go for another leap, but I'll see. Get him down now. Oh, awesome. Good job. I would say a good 15, 18 pounds. Beautiful. <laughs> Carp love to eat a variety of foods, depending upon the location and time of year. Insect larvae, crayfish, snails, leeches, virtually everything in the water is on the menu, including minnows and small bait fish. In many places, anglers cast streamer patterns to carp, stripping them in slowly past their noses. Much like a bonefish chasing down a small crab or shrimp pattern, the take will often be soft. You have to almost feel the weight of the take before setting the hook. Like saltwater fishing, it is recommended you set the hook for carp in virtually the same manner, using a stripping and pull technique before lifting the rod for the rest of the set. This will ensure your hook takes in their mouth or lips. See his tail up now? Oh yeah, I see get, it now. Get it right back, past, right, yeah. A little bit. Uh, it, no, no, don't drop, drop. He's, he's going that way. Oh, stop. Slow down. Oh, I thought... Got him. Oh! I saw him come one after. Oh. I saw him, he turned and... They were light. He hair. broke it off. Oh. And that's 12-pound test. 12-pound test. I definitely... Look. I saw him come over. I see him turn over, and then he just lunged for it. <laughs> <laughs> Bad luck. Like a break off. Oh. <laughs> it's killing me. That was like perfect. That was textbook. It was. it was. Nice, nice eyes, by the way, spotting that fish. I didn't oh. see. I could see the cloud, but that's another one over there, yeah. isn't it? Perfect. I'm just stripping a bit. Strip it. Strip it. Strip it. No, drop it right there. Drop right there. Oh wait! Stop! 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 Are you good? Stop it. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yes. Oh, I saw him take it. so cool. I saw him take it. This is why I use eight or nine weight rods. Oh, feel the power of this. Oh, thing. <laughs> that was sweet. I'm not sure if the camera got that, but that was perfect because the uh, I cast first time and it was short, and Glenn told me to cast past him. And I did, and he could see the fly, and I stripped it a few times and went past, and fish lifted its head and swam right at it and took it. Oh, it was perfect. Could be a 20 pound fish. Yeah, it's a big one. It's got some body to it. Whew. I got a 12 pound tippet on this. Oh, look, he's gone right into the yeah. shore. There's okay. one little rock there you don't want to get. Yeah, I'm keeping it up. Look at that guy go. Oh, he's nowhere near ready. No. Nope. Look at that. Oh, a big fish, too. I get some line on him. And this is just like hunting. I mean, we had to really stalk this fish. And I just yeah. blown another one where I made uh, a bad nice. cast. But this one it was just classic, perfect. And into the backing again. Oh, I think this guy is almost ready to come in. Wow. 
You get them? Yeah. Good awesome. job. Oh. Wow. Oh yeah, it's it's in his twenties. It's got some fatness. Look to at it. The, look at that. And she's she's hasn't spawned. That's probably why. She's got more. Yes. Than belly there. Awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> Not bad for my first big Quinny carp. There we go. Thank you. Yep. That made it easy. Oh wow! Beautiful fish. Oh man, that is sweet. Just wait for them to kick on their own? Yep. Enough that he can leave my hand. Right oh, look at that. The flies used today are very simple in design and action. The nymph fly is fairly large in a 6, 8, or 10 size. Glenn has found that yellow and black patterns to be particularly effective. This pattern can simulate a number of mayfly larvae, cranefly larvae, and even caddis. The tan woolly bugger is suggestive of leeches, minnows, and even dragonfly nymphs which inundate areas such as these flats. Unquestionably, one of the favorites for carp are crayfish patterns. Weighted crayfish patterns in tan, olive, and dark brown work exceptionally well. Small crayfish are abundant and exceptionally easy for carp to hunt and eat. When stalking carp on the flats and you're waiting, it's important to wear shirts and hats that will help you blend in. Carp have good eyesight, and if you're wearing bright colors or reflective shirts, you will spook these fish. Camouflage shirts work well, as do sky-colored tops. Slow wading and methodical walking movements are critical. If you create excessive waves or noise, you'll alert the carp to your presence. Once spooked, then it's time to move on, as these fish will not take a fly. When presenting your fly, Try to gently drop the fly in front of the fish. If there's a large splash, it usually scares the fish and then you're done. Soft presentations are critical to success. Slow movements, using a sidearm cast, gentle presentations, and wearing the right clothes for the conditions will all help you during the stalking of these exceptionally spooky fish. But that's why they're so much fun to catch because they're such a challenge. Having conditions like this, you look at it as like, oh, this is perfectly nice, calm water. And it makes it great for seeing fish, but also it's also hard because you have to be super quiet. You gotta super sneak up on them. And then you gotta cast them accurately and quietly so they don't get spooked away from the fly hitting the water or your line hitting the water. So even though We've had some great conditions with sun and, and wind. It's still hard to catch these fish in these conditions. Thank you, Tori. Oh, oh, got him. Yeah, yeah I saw it. his mouth open up. Yeah. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. Here, make sure yeah. I'm good. I'm good. It's clear. It's clear. It's clear. <laughs> All right. He turned around. Yeah, he, he know, actually I... turned around, and, and like you said, I saw the lip move, and then I set the hook. I wish all of them did that. Yep. Oh, wow. There he is. Wow. Power of these fish. It's incredible how strong they are. Yeah, he really chased it. Good. I think he's getting close. See the fly. Can you get behind me? Yep. Now okay. above the top. All right. He's got the line wrapped right around him. Okay. Good job. Good yeah. job, Nate. Wow, you're doing good. <laughs> good size that fish. Isn't that sweet?
Okay, there you go, buddy. Thank you. Wow. I gotta tell you, this is so much fun catching these on the fly. It really is a great sport. I mean, you gotta hunt, you gotta use stealth, you gotta use technique, the right fly, right presentation. If you don't put it in right, there you go. It's, it's tough, but when you get one, it's so rewarding. Mm -hmm.